I was uh, I was raised in the Osage, uh, where the big movie is, is made, and uh, I was a good student, and uh, I never thought of, I thought about going to college. I, I was hauling hay with the Drummonds, you know, the Drummonds up in Osage, and it's uh, bales, and it's my junior year, after my junior year, it's 100 degrees, and I was up in this field barn, and they were bucking the bales up, and I had them, and I misstep and I fell back 100 degrees and the bale broke on me. Didn't hurt me, but I had this all over. You know? And all of a sudden I thought, I'm going to college. And that's when I decided to go to college. I found that if you had something that people were interested in, it was, it was a lot of fun. And I decided that I would like to teach uh, at the university level. And uh, teach somebody that uh, was interested in what you had to say and I thought that was college students. Uh, I discovered uh, <laughs> later that that's not necessarily true but anyway and so uh, we were we were in New Jersey and I wanted to come back to school. Sonner, my wife, didn't want to come back to school. He had this very promising career at Dow Chemical. Like he would probably been at a very very high level, was bright with his personality. He comes home one day and basically tells her I'd like to be a school teacher. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> yeah. you're dragging me all over the East Coast all these years and now you want to go be a school teacher. Yeah, she wasn't too excited about that. Best, one of the best decisions I ever made was come back to school. I really loved the students, uh, but I was, I was tough. Uh, I had the lowest grades in the, in the department. I didn't curb anything. I had an attendance policy and all this stuff. And, but I learned that if you worked hard and the students believed that and thought that you were fair, you could almost do anything to them. And, uh, and I did. <laughs> were, you, uh, were, you, were you bragging about having the, the lowest grades? Yes. <laughs> it was just the way it was. You know, I, it, look, when I came to school here, you know what the average grade point was? You take all the, all the classes, it's like 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. And you know what it is now? Close to three. So I, I figured if they made two, two, that's pretty good. You know? That's not good? No. <laughs> and so I come in as a junior. The best resource in the business building was him. So he was going to help set up my first, um, what was that, fall of 92 class schedule. So he's going through and you need the, you know, he's got my transcript from St. Gregory's and you, you need this and this and this. And then he goes, well, you got to take marketing. And I am just, my heart is pounding. He says, well, with all of these, really the only class that fits for you to take marketing in is mine. And once November started and the games began, I could, I could see people turning like, at class one day, turning around and looking back at me in the back, looking up there, and then they were taught, like figuring out, I think they're related. And then I started having lots of friends come up to me and ask me about uh, studying with them. And I said, I promise you, this dude doesn't tell me anything. Like I don't, I won't know any more than you. And uh, and there, there actually was a time that I was at the house. My, my mom and dad were there and I said something, I don't know, I asked him about something in class, whatever the P's of marking or something. And he kind of sits here, he goes, well, bud, um, I can't treat you any different than everybody else. My office hours are Monday, was it? And I, and I was like, yeah, no, no, seriously. Anyway, tell me about, he was like, no, I can't. And my mom was like, Lee, are you serious? That's so stupid, that's, that's silly. So I didn't really have an edge up other than the guy sitting next to me was, um, was, was brilliant and he was uh, one of my tutors in the uh, Athletic Academic Center. He taught the, the intro to marketing, correct? Right. And when you're a business major, you take kind of one course, um, you know, like a, an accounting course, an econ course. So, I mean, the amount of students he had is insane if you consider all the, the people that came through here. So growing up, not that I have like a super unique last name, but <clears throat> there's not a lot of managers out there. So people are always like, ah, you know, so your grandfather, you know, I had him in class and he was awesome. And so growing up, I thought two things. A, I thought he had to be the best professor in the world because why would, you know, as a kid, you, why would your own grandfather not be the best? And the other thing is, you know, I, I, I was always confused when people talked about this amazing guy because I'm like, 
like granddad, like the guy I go see like on the hall, like this is the big time guy that everybody talks about. Like I didn't really ever get what the deal was because never had him in class. He was just, he was always just my grandfather. And it wasn't, you know, until I got older, um, till I realized really um, the impact that he left on, on the school and the, and the university and um, sets the bar pretty high. You know, it's not easy going to class and, you know, I always introduce myself to my professors. It's really hard when they're like, ah, you know, I was, you know, I was, uh, you know, colleagues with your grandfather. I know your grandfather. And they're always like, oh, you know, I'm not going to have to worry about you. I had a professor one time on like the second day of class. He was like, oh, if I, you know, if anybody has any issues, I'll just send them to you. I was like, ah, well, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't quite go that far. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm maybe not quite there. But uh, it's, it's been really hard, but I think it's good pressure for me make sure I stay on top of my, my business. Well, I didn't obviously have him as a, as a professor. You know, growing up, I wanted to, but as I've gotten older, much like my father, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, you know, maybe it was, maybe it was, you know, the best that I, I didn't, I don't know. But uh, it's, it's funny because, you know, I hear one thing that made him very unique was all these, these stories that he would tell. And that's what everybody talks about, you know, oh, I, I remember the, you know, the Coke story or whatever, and then, you know, I never got to hear them. Uh, I, I was a little uh, disappointed maybe, um, but it's, you know, it's been nice as, you know, I'm, I'm just tied up with basketball, but when I do get the chance to, to come over, or, you know, I'm around, I get to kind of hear these stories and it's been really interesting on, you know, how I can apply them to my life. And it, it is very common for people to come up and say, uh, I heard your dad here, or I had your dad in class, and I remember this, but this, again, the storytelling part of it is, is what people to this day, they remember. And so that uh, it really has a unique ability to do that. So, and he's, uh, I mean, he's impacted a lot of people. You, you know, uh, I, was, I was fortunate, but not everybody liked me. My favorite comment, you know, they fill out this thing at the end, evaluate the deal. This is my favorite one. Is, uh, the question was, what's the best thing about the class? And this kid wrote, when he says, that's all. <laughs> I said you got that right. <laughs>